This is day one of building a shed from scratch. Rather than just buying a pre-made shed, I decided to build one myself with the help of my guy just to see how it feels and experience it. So let's see how it goes. Side, just like I'm looking in here. You see how it's crooked this way? Mm -hmm. It's crooked this way? Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Down just like this, both ways. Mm -hmm. So that's nice and straight. Mm -hmm. and it's nice and straight this way. Mm -hmm. and, and there's no major gouges or no major shit. That's what we want. Okay. For the ripping, this okay. is to secure the ripping to the walls. Okay. So, and, it, and it can, we do get high winds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you need how many of them? We need 24. 24 of those. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two feet, seven, seven, fourteen. Let's get the sixteen. Okay. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to twenty, and we'll bring back what we don't need. Okay. okay. One, two. Six. Seven. Let's get a couple boxes of these. Man, these are 627. We can go four of these on each one. Uh -huh. Or we can go with three, but four four gives you four gives you so much more strength and durability. When you close the door, uh -huh. you can have that. That. Uh -huh. That, and then that. Okay. Most people would put just two yeah. or maybe three. If you want to go with that. And then your normal door that you use, you want to use um, uh, yeah. The thing is, is, is that a pull open? I'd say the black, yeah. oh, gray. maybe yeah. the gray ones. I'd say the so gray. aside from gray? buying a bunch of lumber, we also got some stuff for the roofing right here, as you can see, and also some blocks. This is going to be used for the foundation of the shed right here. Just got a bunch of them. This is also a window that I'm going to be putting on the shed. So there's a few things right here. All these carts belong to me as you can see all the wood the plywood uh, the stuff for the foundation all these brackets this is all my stuff so it's quite a bit a little bit overwhelming especially being my first time so now that we have it all inside the truck we're ready to go and right here we start unloading i also rented this truck from home depot because all this stuff is really too heavy for what I have as a vehicle. You do videos? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Just a little. Well, you gotta show me why when it's all said and done. <laughs> okay? Yep. So right here, just started unloading all the lumber, the plywood and everything. So this pretty much took half a day already, just going to Home Depot and getting all the supplies. So it's uh, very physical, very tiring, but you just, Hey, it's part of the experience, as you can see. And it, it was a, uh, it it was enough to get started, but we we still needed to get a lot more stuff right here. Before even thinking about building this shed, I had my guy try to uh, clean this up because we're gonna try to put concrete over here. So this my guy is uh, putting the uh, wood frame to where the concrete's gonna go to hold the. Uh, the wood to hold the concrete in place right there before we even start building the shed as you can see just getting things ready uh, after all that we took a little lunch break right here with a little burger so as soon as we got back i started painting and what i did was started doing the 
the edges or the tips of the wood. And there's quite a bit, so it took some time for me to do all that. As, as my guy started working on the foundation, right here you see all the wood that I started painting, just the tips. So there's quite a bit of wood to work on. And so I didn't really want to paint the whole wood because that's going to be a lot of work. So I just did the tips for now until we figure out uh, which uh, wood is going to go where. So after getting that started, we did have to get some more supplies and some tools like the drill master, drill master. Where is it? you know, circular saw and a blade to go with it, which of course was better at Harbor Freight. If you want better deals, obviously. It's carbide tip, it's cheap, but it's carbide tip. Well, again, my guy started doing the base or the uh, foundation, trying to line it up for the shed, you know? And uh, right here, he's just working on it. As you can see, you see the blocks right there? That's going to be underneath the foundation. You know, because the the concrete is not level, so we we kind of have to get those blocks because I, I don't want any like water damage like I had in the past, you know, with the wood right on the concrete. You know, when it starts raining, then it just gets really wet and then you get water damage. So that's why I have the blocks to sort of protect against that. Just building the foundation right here, measuring and making sure that everything is right right here. He's measuring where I'm going to be putting the brackets. And this thick wood that we use, this is really just for the foundation. We didn't really use this, this, uh, this type of wood anywhere else, aside from the base, you know, where we're going to uh, put a bunch of brackets. Full sheet span right across this joint, which will give it huge strength. See it? Okay. Make it square. Make it snug. Mm -hmm. You set it on the ground. You kneel on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a shim to put on it. Uh, I'm gonna actually cut you a template. You're gonna put these, put this right smack in the middle, and you're going to uh, put a nail here and a nail here. Mm -hmm. But you, yeah, I gotta give you a, a piece of wood because what it is is you want the top of the two by four to be level with this. Put that underneath it. That's good. <sighs> On this, hold this. Okay, make sure you make sure you're good here. When that's done, we'll drop the two by fours in them. Some more stuff for the roofing. So we went back to Home Depot at night and got some more supplies and obviously the concrete that we're gonna use for the earlier part where you know where my guy was trying to do the wood frame. So that's pretty much day one. Ah.